Hello friends and welcome to this video. In this video we will look into the difference between web server and the application server. To start with, first let's see what is a web server. A web server is a program that uses HTTP to serve the files that form web pages in response to the requests which are forwarded by their computer's HTTP client. So basically a web server is a program that provides the requested resources a response. Now this request can be made through the browsers when we click on any button or hit a URL we send a request to web server for any resource. Now this resource is provided by the web server as a response which is finally displayed in the web browser. Web server is mostly designed to serve static content, though most web servers have plugins to support scripting languages like Perl, PHP, ASP, etc., through which these servers can generate dynamic HTTP content. So, friends, web servers are basically designed to serve the static content only, like static content, means like a HTML page or an image. But nowadays, we have seen many interactive websites. So this is possible because of the additional plugins which are available with these web servers which help in creating a dynamic and a interactive websites. The web server doesn't provide any functionality beyond simply providing an environment in which the server side program can execute and pass back the generated responses. So as we have uh, discussed earlier also a web servers role is only to provide a static content that can be an HTML or image. It doesn't provide any facilitation for the implementation of a business logic or any other things. Moving on, let's see the client server model. So has, here you can see uh, this is your PC running a web browser and uh, then you have a server machine. So what happens is when you click on any button on your web browser, you send a request to the web server for any re resource. A web server just uh, send that resource back as a request to the web browser in your PC which is then displayed on your browser. Moving on let's see the examples of web servers Apache Tomcat Microsoft Internet Information Server Nginx and Google Web Server Now let's see what is an application server an application server is a server program in a computer in a distributed network that provides the business logic for an application program. So friends, let's understand it uh, using an example. Let's take an example of our reservations website. Our reservation website, we can book our seat for a bus or a train. So what we do is we open the website and we have a form we just put in the required details and uh, click on a button and reservation is done. So what we see is just a HTML or some designing designer pages where we just provide our details and reservation is done. But on this click of a button many things happen at the back end like validating our inputs and uh, looking if reservation is available or not and if it is available then making the required entries many things happens so this all compose the business logic of our application or an website now what an application server does it is facilitates the implementation of this business logic an application server exposes this business logic to a component API such as the EJB. Moreover, 
the application server manages its own resources. Such gatekeeping duties include security, transaction processing, resource pooling and messaging. So friends as we have studied and discussed earlier that application server role is to implement the business logic. Now this implementation is done through EGP Enterprise, Java Beans or some other frameworks which are available with application server. It is a component based product that lies in the middle tier of service centric architecture. So let's move on and see the, what is the three tier model. Now this is our three tier model. Uh, now first is the client tier. Client tier consists of uh, applications and browsers. Then we have a middle tier. Middle tier as you can see consists of a J2E platform and it has an EJB server, this is our application server and a web server. Now the third layer is EIS tier. This consists of database, files and other applications. Now this is the three tier model. Let's move on and understand the service architecture. So this is a this simple diagram to show the service architecture. So let's start with now this is our web client. A web client sends a request to the web server. This request can be sent through the browser on a click of a button or while hitting a URL. This is sent to the web server. The web server see if what the resource is required. If it is a static data resource, web server manages its own or its own and send back the requested resource as a response to the web client. But if it is a something other than an HTML or a, a image, then it sends the request to the application server. Application server implements the business logic and sends the required response to the web server which finally sends the response to the web client. So friends this is the, our service architecture. So let's move on and see the examples of application server. So first is JBoss and the other is Glassfish and WebLogic which is provided by the Oracle. WebSphere provided by the IBM. So friends to summarize let's again see the difference between web server and the application server. The first difference is web servers are designed to serve HTTP content as an application server can serve HTTP as well as other type of content also. It provides business logic for the application. The second difference is limited to the provide static content web browsers whereas an application server provides access to business logic. Now third difference is most web servers has plugin to support scripting language through which these servers can generate dynamic HTTP content. Whereas most application server have web server as an integral route thus capable of doing whatever a web server can. The fourth difference is web servers are light in terms of resource utilization, whereas an application server are heavy in terms of resources utilization. Now the last difference is web servers only support servlets and JSP, whereas an application server supports distributed transaction and EJP. So that's all friends for now. Hope you have understand the difference between web server and the application server. I request you to like the video and share it if you feel that it is really useful. Thank you.